up. I ain't seen you in a minute. Put that thing up. Let me see something. You're not just walking, you're working? I'll come as soon as I said, take me to the prostitute. You knew exactly where to go. This is a really good hot dog, man. Episode 67. All right, guys. Welcome to Hoodie episode 67. Today I got a special treat. We are with the man, the myth, 11, Sir Ronster in downtown LA, and a couple good buddies. A couple Surons and a converted CRF 250 with an electric motor. I'm on my Suron today. And uh, we are in downtown and we're gonna go through quite a few different neighborhoods today. This thing's been acting up, giving me some problems. Shout out to my man, LA E-Rides for fixing this thing. I was having 30H error codes. Oh, Goonies, I like your necklace. You are a motorized guy then, huh? Yes, sir. Sorry this isn't my normal intro with the phone and everything like that. Dude, what? My guy's doing a rolling burnout on a Serrano. Are you kidding me? What the? Oh my God. <laughs> I've always wanted to get out here to LA to experience the electric bike scene here. Super cool. One of YouTube's fastest growing moto vloggers right here, man. Saronster. Uh, pretty cool to, to watch him as I was considering getting a Saron and watch how fast his channel's grown. Just as fast as the e-bike scene continues to grow. A lot of homeless people. Kind of stinky down here. I don't want to break any laws. We're not allowed to break the law. LA on the Suron, baby. Now, YouTube, these things are street legal. These are trained professionals, and uh, we are being kind, courteous, and uh, and safe. So, be nice to this hoodie, huh? They said we're gonna go to Englewood, uh, Compton, through Skid Row. There's just there's too much to do one neighborhood for this one, guys. I and mean, these guys really do want to get the full riding experience out of this. So, uh, I'm excited, dude. This is like so LA. There's something about riding Surons, man. You feel like a kid on a BMX bike. Look at that thing, dude. Crazy. A CRF just converted. We're in the bike lane because we're on bicycles. It's really cool how uh, the scene, especially out here on the West Coast for e-bikes has really grown. I mean, I noticed it just being on social media, period. So what would Hoot Eats be without a little bit of history? Come on, baby. Los Angeles became a nationally recognized city in 1781 to where it stands today as our country's second biggest city. Oh my God, am I getting dizzy going around this thing. <laughs> LA was built with the car, well now, motorcycle in mind, AKA lots of interstates, not so much public transportation. You guys good? Yeah. This was some of the evidence from Saturday. Yeah, we were out here on Saturday. Look at all the burnout marks, man. <laughs> That's funny. You always know when a stunt rides in town. <laughs> Look at these couple weirdos in their helmets. What the hell? So right now we've just entered in the skid row. I did a hood eats down here a year ago. This is one of the many treatment centers. They can come here for showers and food and just one of the many places that tries to take care of the homeless here in, uh, in Los Angeles a little bit better than, than what we should be doing. Definitely a, a human crisis down here, it's sad. Don and John Midnight Mission Center. Look at all the pigeons out here, really dirty. Looks like Tijuana. Uh, lots of street vendors, man. Lots and lots and lots of street vendors. Yeah, this is literally like riding bicycles with your friends. <laughs> Now, when we look at LA as a whole, LA and New York for this matter, they might be the first and second largest cities in the US. However, their homicide rate has continued to go down over the past 30 years. Their clearance rate continues to go up too. That means that they're actually solving their violent crimes here. With the clearance rate at 62%, that's saying a lot. Chicago last reported uh, in the early 2000s that it was about 20%, and uh, they stopped reporting ever since, man. That should tell you something. Uh, a trailer for cameras? Police lights on it. How's your day going, sir? Good. How are you doing? Not bad. Blessed to be here. Beautiful weather. <laughs> In his yellow Mini Cooper. 
Downtown LA is not as vibrant as I remembered it back when I lived down here 10 years ago or so. I don't see a lot of hustle and bustle like you would like downtown New York. Is that like a new model of the Suron? <laughs> right, right. Is it? No, it's not. What's it called? It's called the U-Ride Pro. It's a different brand. Oh, so it's not a Suron. No, it's 72 volts out of the box though. Wow. Yeah, yeah. But it's still not that fast? <laughs> we'll race you right now. Really? Is that thing pretty smooth? Yeah, it is, it is. It's very smooth, actually. I'm waiting for one of these to come with a foot brake stock. I think you're in the minority for that. I don't think that's going to be a dime. We were here on Saturday. You got one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the food vendors out here. Guys, I do have to be honest, I think this is my first Hood Eats I've done on the Suron, and on top of that, this is my first, if not, you know, second or third, that I've done with more than two people. Um, most of the time, I do these solo. I like doing them solo for a reason. It helps me focus better, because there is a lot to remember when I do one of these. And on top of that, we don't even really know what neighborhood we're gonna eat in. Where the hell are we? Did I scare you? No, 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 I just enjoyed it. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> oh, you want to take a video of it? I'll do some wheelies if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, bro, you gotta go apologize to that guy. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. That was the Crypto Center. That's where the Comic-Con was happening when we came down uh, through here. Wow. Look at how big those TVs are. That's crazy. So is this a CRF uh, 450? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that thing's cool, man. CRF 450R converted into electric. Huh? Yeah. Your size, oh, you can't, you can't two feet it? Oh no. Dude, it must feel crazy going between the big bikes and the small bikes. It's always like an adjustment for the first couple minutes, but after that, you're like, you're good. Yeah. You forget how light this thing is. It's just like light as hell, you know? It must just feel skinny. I feel like that's the biggest difference. Yeah. I was on the Harley yesterday that this is crazy. Yeah. Suron burnout. <laughs> it's crazy. All you hear is the tire spinning and the chain rolling. <laughs> That's crazy, man. This thing is so freaking fast, dude. I always forget how fast this Suron really is. Even coming off the big bikes, I, like I was just saying, I was on the Harley yesterday. This thing has so much freaking torque. Like I cannot power wheelie the Harley going this speed. Like you just can't. But this thing just rips right up. There's LAPD, hello. There you go, there you go. It seems like that thing's got really good front suspension already. 
I think it's about identical to the center on whatever you're rocking right now. Fat. No, these are fast days. The, I right. bet the stock ones on the Surround, they bent after a couple stoppies. Yeah. God, man, is it nice to just get out and ride? Like, it is 75 and sunny, and it's December, and I'm with just a pack of total strangers that have taken me in, like family. This is my first time riding and meeting Surroundster. I know we've gone back and forth on Instagram a couple times, but all these other guys, man, they literally just pulled up out of the goodness of their heart and, uh, and helped me fix my Surround, because obviously this is not something with a motor. It's uh, a little bit different. <laughs> oh. Lane splitting on the front wheel. What are you Uh, SRAM. SRAM brakes with uh, Motul 600, like the the brake fluid that we run on the bikes. Same thing. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, I don't like the bike the mineral fluid. No, the mineral fluid's terrible. Terrible. I would do like two stoppies and a couple wheelies. They'd both be faded, you know. Oh, that's key right there. Yeah, I mean, I bought them on eBay. I don't know. Yeah, on eBay. That's nice Fedora. Thing's beautiful. Put that thing up. Let me see something. Oh boy. I love the way these e-bikes look stock, man. All black like that. It just looks nice and clean. All right, guys, sorry for interrupting Hood Eats episode 67 from Los Angeles. Got some unfortunate news. YouTube's been an absolute pain in the ass. Broward on top, Broward of the Legends, couple rides here in Chicago. We just cannot get them up on YouTube. So starting this week, Friday night, Hood Ride from Broward on top is live over on my Patreon. It's a full on edit and vlog. This pretty much opens up the doors for me to show you guys a little bit more crashes, behind the scenes stuff, and just put out better quality edits for you that I don't have to worry about censoring down for YouTube. I feel like every Everyone kind of knew this time was coming, but it is what it is. You spend $5 a day on a coffee or whatever, maybe $5 a month to get some of uh, the stunt scenes, best footage is worth it for you. If not, it is what it is. We do giveaways over there. Uh, I'll be giving away a GoPro Hero 10 uh, the first week of January over there. And you'll be getting a whole lot of behind the scenes stuff and exclusive edits only to Patreon now. So the link is down in the description down there. It helps in a huge way and uh, allows us to keep traveling and making these videos for you guys. Let's get back to Hood Eats episode 67 with Saronster in LA. Thank you for your donation for the rehab. Rehab. Oh, okay. Oh, no more money. No moss. I've been spending too much money here in Southern California on, on gas. Feels weird seeing all the Christmas decorations out here and it not being cold. It's 75 and sunny. Oh, the kitty's letting out on 61st Street. On 55th. What neighborhood are we in right now? South Park. South Park? South Park. We're in South Park. It seems like a pretty Hispanic neighborhood. Like I said, guys, there's so many neighborhoods in LA and these guys haven't really given me a, a clear plan on where we're going. So it's hard for me to do my research when, uh, when that is the case. I hope you understand. Oh, nice. A bit of urban jumping, huh? I've been looking for y'all. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, those are the sad ones. She said, damn! We'll launch and stop you right at him. Oh my lord. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good. Here's my buddy from Chicago. Okay, where you guys? Oh, all you guys are from Chicago? No, nah, just me. Just me. Just out here visiting? Yeah. Yeah, just out here riding a little bit. What business you got looking this good? Yeah. This is your business? Oh, really? Oh, you're not just walking, you're working? Oh, I thought you was just walking. <laughs> what the hell? All right. You want to get on? Come on. Just, just points down the block. No, they won't. I'll run. <laughs> My guy got her number. What the hell? That's, that's the only way they won't think you're scared. What? That's for like their number and shit. Yeah. Now they get mad at the camera. Oh, she was, nice. she was nice. She was really nice. God bless her. I hope she gets off the streets. So, how, how often do you come visit girls down here? I've never been down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll come as soon as I said, take me to the prostitute. You knew exactly where to go. <laughs> Bro, no way, dude. I'm my first time. All right, all right. We'll, we'll chop it out of the video if you want to tell me. No, I promise you, bro. Yeah. Bro, you're getting their numbers. I don't want to hear it from you. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, I just saw you. What do you mean? I, I don't know about that. Oh my god. Just be very clear. I have a girlfriend that I love very much. Okay, we've been together over two years. Never been out here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Figueroa Street, man. Figueroa. Apparently, it's a pretty infamous street here in LA. There's a little bit of open air uh, prostitution in Chicago. I mean, there's some more prostitutes. Um, but I guess not an entire street. I mean, I know a couple blocks that a couple prostitutes hang out on. But uh, other than that, that store is literally called Sluts. What? Where are we? Beautiful day in Los Angeles. Riding around. Lots of homeless. You know, of all places in the world, if I was to be a homeless man, and I, I, I could be a homeless man one day, I think I would pick Los Angeles. It's almost always 70 and sunny. It's really nice weather year round. Just good vibes, man. Where are we going? Dirty dogs. Dirty dogs? Yeah? yeah? I'm having fun, buddy. Yeah, isn't this fun? <laughs> First time here, I promise. Really? Hey, you keep telling yourself that, man. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. We'll, we'll have another conversation over food, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. We're skipping school. <laughs> That one kid said this is worth skipping school. That's how you know he's a young buck. The dude in the shiesty mask with low battery. This is worth skipping school. <laughs> That's funny, man. In the loafers. That's another thing that I don't think I can I can really sum up into a couple words here. But these e-bikes have turned young kids into riders and it, and stunt riders at that. Because I would consider this a form of stunt riding for sure. A lot of the same tricks apply to these bikes that that do on the big bikes, and it gets them into the sport at an even younger age, which is going to cause our sport to progress even faster. Episode 67, coming from Cali, man. Our 66 was down in Florida. We're just all over the place lately. Winter time, man. Winter time, I gotta travel to keep these vlogs coming, but I mean, getting to travel during the winter is the real blessing, you know? This job does not feel like a job. Get a date with Jesus. Probably a good sign to have over here, man. Y'all need Jesus. I don't really know the legality on these Surons here in Los Angeles. I couldn't really tell you. I, I didn't look at their uh, their e-bike rules, to be honest. Every single corner. Apparently this one is super crazy fast. 72, whoa, what the hell? So it goes 90 miles an hour. That's crazy, you think an e-bike doing 90 miles an hour? Much 
There's no, there's no saving stoppies. I can't believe more people aren't doing stoppies on surrounds, man. I feel like doing stoppies on them is, I won't say any type of stoppie is easy, but I will say it is one of the easiest bikes to like go really far on. The 636, and, you know, yeah, the 636 is just a little bit different. It's a heavier bike. It's a lot more at risk if you do flip, obviously. He's got a shy battery with some a lot of prickly parts all over it. He looks like our local Brennan. The E-Ride Pro, huh? They come stock 72 volt. I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, no. Nah. Man, what's up? Man? I haven't seen you in a minute. Tommy? Remember my Uncle Tommy? He used to come out, grill out in your backyard? It's been a minute. Man, man what you doing? Man. You know me, I'm just out riding around. Oh, oh shit. Oh. oh, there goes all my friends. I gotta go. Good to see you. like a little kid on my BMX bike on this thing going out on adventures I'm starving they got like specialty hot dogs or are they like okay not like Chicago dogs or anything okay oh nice a lote on a hot dog that sounds good it's electric woogie 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 you can't mistake it man this is a very 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 unique city very dirty but uh very unique <laughs> I kind of miss living here at some, at some points. I really do. This weather, the people, all of it. It's like a bunch of circus folks ran into each other and decided to call LA their home. Right here. I'm starving, man. I don't I don't like going into hoodie it's too hungry because then I give you an unfair opinion because I was just that hungry, but this is one of those times. <laughs> Damn, all this is carbon fiber, huh? I, I did that myself. Beautiful. All right, girl, you stay here. You behave. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Working that back. I don't know how to act. Slow motion for me. Man, they're jamming in here, huh? A lote dog. Wow. Look at this place. They got a patty melt, chili dog, Snoop, Snoop dogs, hot dog. I'm in a good mood today, man. How old are you? You're 15. I heard you say this was worth taking off school for. Wow, so you're a freshman? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. You're going to be a really good rider, man. Yeah. Are you going to get a big bike? What? Uh, I already have one. What do you got? 450R. You have a 450R? No, I mean a big bike. My dad's, but... No, I mean a big bike. Yeah. I mean a street bike. Yeah, oh, so That's what you need. Oh, yeah, yeah. I always wanted one. Get a 636 or an F4I or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, You'll be a beast. I'll have the Elote dog. All right, let's go ahead and wait for this hot dog, huh? That's a fast charger? 45 amps. 45 amps. That's like four times, four and a half times than a normal charger. Wow. That's crazy small. This place is uh, pretty infamous in LA. It's the best place Really? What did you get? Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg? Oh, that's the Snoop Dogg? Oh, this this is owned by Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I can see it. This is total munchy food. Yeah, yeah. Let's try it on, boys. <laughs> Go up, sis. All right, guys. I got the music at like ten thousand in here, but this is the truth. This is a really good hot dog, man. Episode sixty-seven. Super unique. I never thought putting a lote on a hot dog would hit this hard. Did you get anything to eat, my guy? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. What'd you get? I got a veggie dog, veggie dog. Are you vegetarian? I'm vegan. You're vegan? Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> of course. Okay. It doesn't surprise me, sir, on, sir, on, sir. Save the environment, no, save the animals, no, save all that shit. But this is the truth. All right guys, dirt dog. 
This place is the truth, man. They got some unique, unique hot dogs here. Everything I had uh, was really good. The dirty fries and the elote dog. That was, that was fire. Whew. Riding surrounds. Everything in LA is just tagged up. <laughs> Try to do a high chair. I like how he's got his frame all powder coated, uh, white and blue. It's pretty cool. Whoa, YZ 250 just chilling. Brand new YZ 250 at that. R6, first motor I've heard all vlog. Look at this street from us on Saturday, dude. Oh my God, destroyed. Oh shit, motorcycle cop. Doesn't seem like he cares. Whoa! I was trying to return this. Want to ride into the van? <laughs> My bike return rental. It's gonna be a really nice job. Oh hell yeah! By the tree? Yeah. Follow us. Okay. Oh look at the Navi. Full Honda Navi. Gotta love them. My brother just built one with like a CVT kit and some other stuff, and he's able to wheelie it all over the place now. It was for a customer, but he loves it. Whoa! I'm going back. That was too much fun. It's uh, It's the part of LA I hate, man. Just homelessness and blight is in your face. What? Is this Diplo and Hugo here for all the people? We have what you want, so tell me what your wish menu. Stay high, Favolonian joints, tra tra on my mind, marijuana. Transfer available globally, fast delivery. Oh my god. Tell me a drug dealer's advertising out here on the side of the street. Only LA, man. My guy broke it down. Is that the belt? The belt's just spinning? Oh yeah, that sucks. The belt's just totally sheared. That sucks. We should be able to just push them like this. Yeah, we can push. Yeah. Yeah. Just get us back to the trucks in the most straight way possible, you know? We're going out of the street. You got him? All right. There you go. Gotta know how to tow each other, man. These bikes do break down. All right, guys. Hood Eats episode 67 from Los Angeles with our special guest, Sir Ronster. Success, success, much success, good food, good times, 
We fixed my Suron. I don't think the cop followed us into the public parking lot, so I think we're good. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop a big fat like. It helps the algorithm out in a huge way. If you guys want to support my travels, this is not cheap, uh, not easy, and I got a full-time editor. So if you guys want to support me on that way, my Patreon link is down there in the description. But make sure to leave down in the comments below what you guys thought of today's video. First time on the Suron. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is your least favorite model vlogger, Brian Sixers, signing out from Los Angeles, California. I love y'all. Respect life. I'm out of here. Peace.